Hey guys, we're back with another, uh, the, yeah, with another episode of Taco Imposters for December 15th, 2022. Thursday, December 15th, 2022. Man, can't believe it's already that date, but okay, sure, sure. That's that's my personal problem with it, with that. But anyway, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so there's not much to talk about except for things like, you know, Apple. There's two things in Apple's, like, thing that's happened recently. It was like... They said that, like, years ago, but now they're, like, trying to implement it, that they have to have USB-C now. And, oh, it's only in Europe, though, so all the things in the rest of the world. And will and will it be USB-C? Because, um, what did they made a video? Uh, Marquez made it, Brownlee, MKBHD, right? He made a video, he's like, that doesn't necessarily mean, because if you listen to what, I don't remember which guy it was, said, one of the Apple guys said, um, said, um, What's it called? Oh my gosh. He said, because somebody asked him that question about it, and. I guess not, okay. Um. Will comply. And he said something to the effect of will comply. With the EU's recommendation that you. No. Well, because there's something like. It was at all small devices, so it's like laptops and phones fell into that category. Has to have USB C, right? Or has to, yeah. has to, Or has to have like a, a uniformed connected thing, right? Or, like, the same connector. And they... I think they chose USB-C? Anyway, I don't know if that's exactly... But, yeah. And so, what happened was he said, like, we'll comply. And then MKBHD took that and said, well, that doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be USB-C. It just it could mean port, uh, really portless, uh, bleh, portless iPhone. Oh, yeah, I'm doing portless iPhone, 100%. Okay, um, portless iPhone, yeah, so, yeah, that's what, um, he thinks, which I, I kind of agree with him, because, you know, you look at I, uh, iPhone, iOS, they always, iOS, well, that too, but you look at, uh, um, no, no, you look at, um, um, you look at, Apple, and you go, they're not going to do that. That's like you, They're going to try and get their money out of it. The reason they they going to keep, you know, Lightning is because it's like their own proprietary thing, and they can charge people to use Lightning to be a, to be an Apple certified, you know, a, a, a cable. Right? And then, this would just be like, okay, I don't have to, you know, ha- let anybody do it. I wouldn't lose my money, right? Lose the money I was getting. Which, fair enough, I mean, that's what they do. They do, they do. And so, what was I saying? Yeah, so, yeah. Not that it couldn't happen. Like, Apple couldn't be, I don't know. I feel like it's like, oh, Apple could be forced to do it. Nah, I don't know about that. Could they be forced to do it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Also, if you know a good way of getting, like, looking. Because what I want to do is look at all my files. Let me go go to here. And ask, is there a way to see all my files? Everything on my PC by size. Let's see. Because my PC takes up a lot of space. Like, spa- uh, yeah, has, like, no more space on it. And I'm just trying to see, like, okay, well, th- what does that mean? No, sorry. How do, how do I, not what I mean. How do I get um more space? <laughs> right? Uh, Which is the one I need? I want the computer, guys. And I want probably these guys. Need help. Detective discussion. So I'm just trying to see. Is there a way? Is there a way to see everything on my PC C drive? By S I. Let's see. Everybody's gonna say something there. Maybe I'm on uh, build build a PC dot no, build a PC subreddit. Wiz tree file. Wiz tree. Let's see. Is that a program? Let's 
Nancy. Okay, let me see what this is. Yikes, okay. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, so it's somebody that recommended Wiz, Wiz Tree. Wiz W I Z Wiz Tree. Okay, let's see. Let me just see. Wiz Tree download. I don't know what who Wiz Tree is. Disk analyzer. Okay. I'm just gonna read it just to make sure and see if it says something that I, you know, like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, whatever. Mm, I'll do this one. Uh, the free version, maybe. Is there a free version? Yeah, free version. Nope. It said. What did it let me do? Rapid scanning of hard drives. Uh, See, so you're sorry. So yeah, so that about Apple, right? Sorry, a sec. That about Apple. It's like, oh yeah. Okay, hard drive. Network drive supported. Tree view, visual tree map, file view search, and CVS export, import for file data. Okay. If I do this, if I do this, right? It doesn't let me have what commercial use not allowed donation button visible export certain to the sec. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try the free version yet. Just D. So yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, um, okay. There we go. Let's launch this. Video. Okay, there you go. Oh, okay. Now, how do I look at local disk scan? Okay, let's see what that does. There you go. No. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Now, how do I see what's the biggest? Local disk, hundred percent. Probably utilized. What takes up the most programs? Like, can I delete? No, I wish I could, like, mm, this is the hardest thing that I thought it would be. Okay. Okay, let's play gigabyte values. Things that take up gigabytes. YouTube? Oh, wow. My YouTube folder. What? These are big? I wish I could like You know what? I'll go back. How do I go back now into that? Like is there a way to go No. How do I go back? Sorry, this is confusing now. And then the other thing about um sorry, about um Apple is you know what? There you go, cool. You is there now have to let people uh, install third party this is only the EU again but third party um app stores like like other app stores and like side load be your thing
the big can you like tell me what the biggest is this is what user and this and stuff is program files okay um this is local disk take this is 100 percent so in the local disk i can see what is the biggest stuff what's this mac install dvd cd how big is that six gigabytes can i delete it that's a good question can i delete it sorry i'm looking at my stuff I don't know, can I? Yeah, let's delete it, yeah. I don't know what that took up. Two gigs? Uh, how do we scan again? No, let's scan. Okay. No, I think this is all I need. Okay, okay. So let's see how much. Okay, so yeah. From there, okay. What are the things taking up a lot of space? Mm. What is that? No, I need that. Okay. This is. Okay, that is. No, no, no. I want to know things by size. Like, what's the biggest? Mm, no, okay, so anyway, yeah, so, and it means, you know, you can, you can add stuff, you can do other things, you can potentially, you know, do other stuff, I don't know. You know what I mean? What is that, documents, what is that? Uh, how much is it taking up? What are the things taking up a lot of space? Can I take, like, the whole... Are taking up close twelve gigs, wow. iTunes itself is taking up a lot of gigs. Wow, eighteen gigs, wow. This is what? App data. I don't know if I can delete anything in app data, but I'm probably gonna delete. You know what? I'll delete everything in the U Whoa, wait, wait a sec, what's that? YouTube, MOV, 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 huh? And it's taking up what? Fourteen gigs, wow. That's a lot. Look, I don't care. I'll delete them, they're all on YouTube anyway, so they're gonna rescan again. And we'll see how much space we have now. Probably a lot, right? Well, it doesn't tell me how much I have, though, does it? Where? Allocated, blah, 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 size, blah, blah. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty big. Is it going to change anything? No. Also, it's the same way, like, well, in... Yeah, you see how it works now? It, like, shows me... Nice, nice. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying yeah. it's a good thing or a bad thing, per se. I don't know. Maybe we have to see what it, what the people do with it, right? But, yeah. I think that's kind of what I don't... I don't know. I think it's it's okay to see what people do with it, because, like, and... and, and Look, don't right. I watched a video by uh, this is the cha where you channel this is, and they were talking about it. And I was like, yeah. And Matt, I don't know his last name. I always forget it. And Austin, Matt was like, don't tell me they're not going to try and get this in here. It's like, oh yeah, they import them from. It's only supposed to be EU. Yeah, but they're going to import them from wherever. So, don't give me that crap. Basically, don't give me that garbage. I'm like, well, maybe um. Maybe uh, this or maybe that. I don't know. No. No, stop. They're going... They're going to... Import them from the EU. Just the way, the same way they're going to import the, the iPhones with... with well, USB-C. Maybe if it's USB-C. You know? If it's USB-C, they'll, they'll import them from USB-C. You know? Import them. Right? They will. If they actually get USB-C, yeah, it'll be imported 100%. 100%. But anyway, that's that's what's going on with Apple. I don't know. Interesting stuff, I guess. I don't know. There aren't really great Nintendo games. I mean, 
since the last time I did a podcast, you know, the new Pokemon games came out, and I hear, heard it's like a glitchy mess. It's like an actual mess of a... So, what things? So. It's like, er, I don't know if it's... I haven't played it, but... I, and I've seen footage, so, you know, I can make a educated... So, like, educated opinion, educated assumption that, like, it's bad. It's, like, really glitchy and, like, dropping frames. and all. Now, apparently, there's, like, a one point... Or there's, like, a, there's a download you can get. There's an update you can get for it that fixes some of those problems. I don't know if it fixes all of them, but it fixes some of them, and so... Right, so... Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, that's... that's kind of sad because like oh well everybody always makes is making the joke oh well the uh puh, poo pee pa um pokemon used to you know they used to make pokemon games that were finished before they put them out but then again uh, you know put them out but that's like every game now i'm not con like condoning it right i'm not saying well this is fine because everybody else is doing it right no but also i'm like Everybody else is doing it, and then and then we're buying it. So they're you're just feeding into their their I don't know if you call it addiction of money, like money in the sense that like everybody does it. They want they're just doing it for the money. You're gonna buy it, so it doesn't matter. And it's Pokemon. It's one of those things where oh no no no, this is like gonna be the same thing, or gonna be brought bought whatever. Why do you t you know where it's like. Or you're gonna buy it whether it's good or bad, which oh yeah oh yeah that kind of happens, which is sad because like you really care about the thing over the company behind this. I don't know actually yeah because in the video one of the uh, Wan shows um the Wan shows they were talking about Nintendo in some way, and it was like, do I stop buying Nintendo, is what um, Linus said, and Luke's like, well, I don't think Luke has a, anything Nintendo, but Linus has a Switch, and Switch probably online accounts and all that. He, he brought up the point of, of Nintendo being, um, like, not letting you migrate, and or having your, your saved games locally, saved files locally. Like, you could do that in, I think, Steam, if I'm not mistaken. You can have your saved local game, local files. You have the local files of the games, don't you? Let me check. Yeah. Right? Local games, right? Oh, it's trying to get some more. Actually, wait. Can I get all that? No, no, I can't. Okay. Sorry. Um, um, what is that? Media? Right? And so... Yeah. So... Look, I'm not... D condoning any... Well, look. Big corporations are... I'm not gonna say evil, per se, but, like, yeah. Look. But I'm just saying, like, it's so... But they're like they don't care about you. A lot of them. It's like what do you like? That's kind of stupid when you think about it. Because you're like, wait a sec. You don't care about me. Then why? What? I don't know, right? It's like, wh what? Right. 
You don't care about me, but then why are we what? And who am I to you? Somebody gives me money. And it kind of is our fault where like when it's like, well, you give them money. Because you give them money, they keep doing their stupidity and they don't care. Well, this makes money, so I don't care. Which you would think they would have some integrity. Not integrity necessarily, but like you would think they would they would think of the downfalls, downside. No, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care. They do not care. They do not care. No. They don't care. A lot of them don't. Well, some of them do. A lot of them don't. You'll pay for it, so. Which, I mean... Yeah, fair enough. I mean, if you pay for it, they'll keep doing stupid stuff. They're making the money, so. And you can see that with every, almost every industry ever. Yeah. And every company. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. Again, I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying that that's just what happens. Yeah, it's what happens. So. That's just what happens. Definitely not saying we should do it that way, but... That's what happens. How do you change that? Again, people say with their wallet, which I mean, yeah. I guess it really is no other, other way of doing it, so. Just don't buy a Nintendo. He said, is it time to not buy a Nintendo product? To stop, to stop um, supporting Nintendo. I was like, you mean, maybe, maybe. Honestly, maybe. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I have a Switch I got for Christmas, but other than that, I don't care. I don't buy a single game on Switch. None. No, not one, so. No, not one. Not a single one. Oh, no. Did I do something wrong here? Did I put the wrong one in? I might have put the wrong one in. This here. Oh, no. Dang it. It's okay. It's going to be my fault. It's okay. Because I have multiple emails. But anyway, um, yeah, so. That's what's going on here. I mean, I'm not saying. Like, I'm not saying Nintendo's an awful brand company. They have a great thing going for them, but, like... But Linus was saying that they just don't care. Or because they just, just, right? They just don't care. Linus was saying that. And because, like, they just don't care anymore, it's like, well, time to stop. I'm not saying. Like, other brands are bad either. Other brands aren't bad. They all have their own problems. But because they're not based in good, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Right? It's just kind of like, well... You don't care. You're not here to help people. They're not here to do it. No. Uh, money is not there. I mean, they're a company. What do you want? So yeah. Yeah. So, am I saying it's good? Am I saying it's bad? No. What I'm saying is, I don't like it. But that's how companies. That's a you know shady way to make money. I mean, yeah. They're not for the little guys, but the, the other you know the, the whatever. The people, the customers, the little people, the customers. But, what you do? And again, it's one of those things. Right? It's kind of one of those things where, yeah, if you had a company and you realized how you could make money and it kind of was kind of shady, then yeah. But again, it's nothing like necessarily illegal. Just really bad. Like, oh. And and what other thing was saying? How do you stop these people from doing this? You you sue them up the wazoo. And I'm like, no, you don't. You don't, or not sue them, but like you give them fines up the wazoo.
you know. Dang it, I need some more space. Okay, it's okay. So, look, I'm not saying they're good. I'm just saying, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain what I think. Cause I, think. I don't know, I don't know. Nintendo, I've, I've said this before, I'm like a lot of other people, Nintendo is kind of stupid in the sense that, like, you just want to make a lot as much money. And so, for stop us from enjoying things, so, hey. Really, I could have done this. Wow. 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 Okay, anyway. So, yeah. So, what are you gonna do, you know? But, yeah. That's, that's, that's that. Yeah, if you got any good, uh, uh, maybe half the time of some of the other ones. I don't know, this is a shorter episode just today. Just because I don't have much to say about much. So, got good games to play, got good, uh, Movies to watch, good TV shows to watch, good books to read. I really want books to read, please. Please, please, please. I really want good books. Like, book that'll really capture me. I've had maybe two books that ever did that for me. And the third book was just like, oh yeah, I like this. It's okay. Right? So, like I said before, it was, um, Ready Player One was a book I read. I didn't read it. It was read to me. It was an audiobook. Then, I actually read Yesterday Erased by Andy Schrock, and that was really great. I think I said it changed my life. Which it kind of did, but... I don't know. Anyway. So the third one, which is the first one I actually read out of the three, was... I did Vigil Bar 3, so... And then I try to read all the other ones for fun. And then good ones, like, I tried reading Animal Farm. That I really oh, not Animal Farm. 1942. 1984. And I just didn't care for it much. It was fine. It was a good book, but started to get to the point where I'm like, why am I, why am I, huh? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so that, I thought I'd read like 1984 and, sorry, 1984 and uh, Animal Farm, stuff like that, you know? And the game I'm downloading right now is uh, Star Wars Squadrons. My brother paid, like, good money for it, and I'm like, well, I got it for free on the, the Epic Store, so. Interesting, yeah. Oh, sometimes they'll just give you, like, a really massively good game. And I'm like, I always, I'm always baffled. I'm like, how do you, you know, financially do all this? And it's like, I don't know. Maybe Because they, they think, give you one game, and then you'll be like, oh, well, I got to buy one thing. I got to buy something from them. And then you have people like me who are like, no, not at all. Yeah, not at all. Well, I don't even know what I was just talking about. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They think they think you can you you're gonna pay for something after or eventually. Like I did that on Steam. I eventually bought something on Steam. Bought some stuff on Steam. But here, I don't think I'm ever gonna buy anything. No, I might one day, but I don't think anytime soon. So. It's all pointless for them to give me free stuff, but hey, lots of cool free stuff. No. I'm good. My whole library of like 50 or so games on uh, Red Bull. No. On uh, X Store is. Your drive. The games. What? 
Anyway. I have not bought something from them yet. I might, but I don't think I... I, uh... You know. Was going to, you know... You gonna buy something from them? Because nothing I really want that's like paid for. I mean, that isn't somewhere else, right? Like, if I want this, I'll just use this. If I want that, I'll just use that. Their stuff's kind of wonky. I don't love the Epic Store. But, you know, it works, so... What's the difference, right? Right? So yeah, that's what happened to in the world of video games in the last like, what? I don't know, a month probably, a month and a half, or in there. One month, 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 month. So yeah, look, let's watch Nintendo for a sec. Would I outlaw Nintendo? No. I just wouldn't buy it anymore. I wonder what that, like, number is for, for a lot of companies. Because, like, I, would, I could see a lot of companies... I could see a lot of companies... I can see a lot of companies be like, this number is a number, this many people. Cause I'm sure they have the, that like information. Like what, how many people actually use, or, or or no, sorry, from their service, how many people actually buy, um, buy, uh, what's it called? They buy the, uh, buy something, you know, from the freebies, so, yeah, I mean, don't know, like, if that's what I say, I think I made up this thing where it's like, it's a justified number, it's the number to justify doing something, so, like, the price to justify something, or the, um, what's it called to justify something, the, uh, the, what's it called, the, so the price or the or the age of something to justify something like I'll justify an anniversary at ten, not five. Five stupid. I'll justify it next year. I don't know. Then there's the ones where it's like, well, I'll justify ten days to do this. Okay. And it's most teachers. And it's like, oh well, I'll take because you know, because school in Georgia. So. Yeah. No, I'm not saying. Well, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just going on and on and on and on and on. I was never a big, huge star. Well, actually, at one point I was a big star fan, but I kind of lost interest in it just because... It, no, see, it wasn't even that it got bad, necessarily, for me. I realized, that I think it just got really complicated, convoluted, confusing. I even have a book on, like, the Dictionary of Star Wars and, like, so much of it's not canon anymore. My brother was like, that's not, a lot of that's not canon, you know. I'm like, oh, is isn't, really? It's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, you suck. And you actually, like, suck. Come on. And then they, like, nullified a lot of the books that were ever out about Star Wars. Books about Star Wars, so. So. Um. What was I saying? Yeah. It's the time not anymore. Yeah, because it's just kind of like too complicated and convoluted. Like, what's going on? Yeah, so I, that's it. I had the uh, dictionary. And I'm like, what is going on here? This thing's not learning this whole thing. I just don't want to learn a lot of huge, big, whatever. So, I mean. That's Star Wars, I mean, it's it's either in Star Trek, somehow. Cause Star Trek, although Star Trek has less stuff in it. Less things from what I've seen. There's just enough weird alien mucus, mucus creatures. 
So, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah here's a. I don't know what I was saying. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to talk about because you know, there's not much to talk about. Anyway, um, what were they saying? Yeah, so. I don't know. Uh, I've been watching Hubert by the Dozen. I haven't finished that movie yet. It's a kind of the weirdly weird movie. It's like a movie about, um, people. Well, it's a movie about a family who leaves one town. Actually, yeah, to another. Yeah, so. I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Just bored. Going around talk, you know, whatever. Waiting, doing nothing. But anyway. Yeah. I had a problem with, uh, Oh, yeah, so they move, and then the kids... It's a family of... Cheap Brothers doesn't, so it's a family of, like, 12 kids. One doesn't live with them anymore. But the other 11 still do, and so it's like, oh, my gosh. It's crazy. <laughs> 12 children? That's crazy. But then you got the, the, the family that has 19 kids, right? I mean, they have their own problems. You know, their weird, you know, controversies. But I'm just saying, like, 12... Uh, 19 kids... It's more like, though, you have, like, 19, then you have, like, a bunch of helpers at a certain age. I mean, if you, you know, raise them that way. I don't know. And they're not, you know, bums. But anyway, it's a whole, like, I mean, that's a religious family, so, you know, you've got that problem. But, not problem, per se, but, you know. They're, not, they're like a... I'm not going to go there. But, um... I mean, the whole thing with, with huge families was... I don't know why I'm going into huge families, but huge families was... You, um... It was like the... Back in the day... A lot of huge families were Catholics, and a lot of them were, like, farmers, so they would be like, yo, I'm just going to get another, like, bunch of kids so that you can all be my... I'm not going to use the word slave, but... You know, or, you know... You could work on my farm, you know. Hey, Robin. Anyway, um, yeah. And then, I found... Oh, yeah, so, yeah. So. So, that's Ch Chief of Brother Dozen, and then they hate their new place where they have to move because the dad gets a better job. They get a better job, and they move out, and I, I don't know. It's a decent movie, I guess. I watched it as a kid. I see cheaper, cheaper, cheaper by the Dozen 2, I think, is a better movie. But, you know, it's a decent movie, uh, Chief of Brother Dozen. Eh, it's okay. I, I, I realized it's got a lot of those kids from... I don't know who they are, all these actors, but kids from different things. Like, you have... I don't know the actors and actresses. Let me look. Two by a dozen. Okay, like the cast. No, nah, well, let's look if I knew And it's a lot of these kids who've been in, like, everything else. All around the same time. Oh, the 2003 movie, okay. Basically. In, like, everything else. Or, like, just been around, you know, movies and stuff in that... Around that time, same time. Like, I don't know when, uh... This movie apparently is 2003. I don't know when something like, uh... Because when we get to a cast, you know, Something like, um... What's the, the movie called? With Vin Diesel, the pacifier. Because you've got, you know, Steve Martin, fine burden, and Bennett Hunt, right? Bonnie Hunt, sorry. Bonnie Hunt. Okay, you got a really big actor, and then you've got bon Bonnie Hunt. I don't know what else she's been in. So. Oh, she's been in. Oh, she's been in Monsters, Inc. Apparently. 
Or she has monsters like next to her name. I don't know what if she's been in Haunted the Mary okay what she's been in. Anyway, I just wanna know what she's been in. Oh come on. Hurry up. But but what I'm trying to get at is right here. What I'm trying to get at is You know, you've got Hillary Duff. And then you've got I think uh the boyfriend is uh of Nora is Ashton Kutcher, I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Who? Sorry, but like and then you've got Morgan York who is in cheap who is in Pacifier. And then you have um who else? Dylan uh uh, uh Stephen Anthony Lawrence who is in uh, Kicking and Screaming. You know him. There's a, it's a full cast. It's not 12 of them, is it? Sarah Baker. Sarah. Wait. Mm. Yeah, Hilary Duff. Lorraine. You know? Who's in, uh, um... Lizzie McGuire. And then you've got... What was that one kid? Mike Baker? I think Mike Baker was... Is that the white kid? I think so. Let me let me look. I suck. Oh, my mouse doesn't. My mouse's middle click is not working very well. Interesting. Anyway, open a new tab. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, let's go. Yeah, we're open the ready. No, no, that's uh, the kid. Oh God, I'm so terrible with. No, you No. The problem is I want to know who this was at the time. Also, I'm terrible, terrible with names. Absolutely awful. Don't know who this kid is. Sorry. It doesn't tell me if it's the one I'm thinking of. Um. Anyway. Don't think it is. No. I think I'm thinking of. Oh, yes, yeah, that's her. Wow, that's so crazy. It's a girl from Zack and Cody. What was her name from Zack and Cody? So, Zack and Cody. Oh, she's been a lot of stuff. Where's Zack and Cody? She loves Zack and Cody. She was in Sweet Love Zack and Cody. Oh, gosh. What was her name? Max. I think it was Max. Is that correct? Oh, my God. Really? Where? That's probably really far back, but anyway. So we love Zack and Cody, but yeah. Oh, she was in Super Babies. Oh. Super Buddies. Never mind. I thought it said Super Babies. Never mind. That's a weird movie. <laughs> she was in That's a Raven. One episode. Okay. Where's in Drake and Josh? Okay. She voiced a kid rat in the Garfield movie? What? No way. Where is... Not here? What? This is all her stuff she's been doing. Maybe I missed it. Where's the what? She was in Sweet Love Zack and Cody. There's a picture of her at the top here in Sweet Love Zack and Cody. Like, what the heck? I think his name was Max. Was Max anyway. She was in Camp Rock? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She was in Camp Rock. A little bit older, but yeah. She was in Camp Rock. Anyway, yeah, her, Max from, what's her name? Allison Stoner. So, there are a lot of people that were, like, prominent actors at the time just in this movie. I don't know. It was like a, a movie, um, to just... bring all those kind of people together. I don't know. Prominent child actors. Also, they were random from random things, too, some of them. So, yeah. Ashton Kutcher. Where's, like, full cast? 
No, there's no full cast. No, I don't think so. Maybe I'll say our top cast, their full cast. Let's go to the full cast. I want to know if that guy, uh, what was his name? Is it not Ashton Kutcher? I'm looking. What? Ashton Kutcher, yeah, I was right. Hank. Uncredited? What? Why? I don't understand that. Unless they don't want to be credited. Then... Okay, maybe I can see it, but I don't know. <laughs> That's Chipper Dozen, too. Alright, Chipper Dozen. I don't know, I saw that recently. I don't know. And they just try and be terrorists. Terror, terrors. Little kids. Like, what? Oh my god. Although, I don't, bl like, blame the parents necessarily for having awful children like that. It's like, you have that many children, you just can't take care of that many children. To the fullest extent, I guess? I don't know. Uh, maybe? I don't know, I don't have 12 children, so I don't even have one, so. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so. That's Jibber Dozen, so. Oh, then I found my old tape. Not my old tape recorder. It's actually my. I think it's my dad's. Anyway. It's cool, you know? Tape recorder. Like, cassette player, I mean, sorry. Not tape recorder necessarily. Oh, it's a recorder, yeah. But, you know, I would think I would use the word, like, cassette player. A recording, mini cassette recorder. It's the Panasonic. I think it's Q RQL309. Let me check if there's any other, like, indicators of, um, what's that called? Yeah, no, no, that's right here. Indicators of, uh, model number, but it's like, model number Q, yeah, Panasonic RQL309. It doesn't work very well, and also batteries, it eats batteries, like, literally, seconds gone. Like, I will charge my, unless my chargeable batteries are bad for this thing, for somehow, it does it bad. Now, I found a plug, right, to plug in at the wall. Well, it's supposed to take 3 volt, but it's 9 volt, and it, sorry, 9 volt, it's 6 volt, the plug I have. I mean, hey, power brick, power, whatever, plug. So I'm like, I mean, it's working. I did leave it on, and then it got really hot at the, near the plug, so maybe you shouldn't keep it on too long. I don't know if that actually hurts this, the thing. It might hurt the thing. It works, though, so... Hey, right? What are you gonna do, right? Anyway, so, um... Yeah, and then... And some, I found some cool tapes. Random things. I found the tape of, uh... What did I have? I had... Jackson 5. I had, like, whale sounds really weird. It sounds, the whale sounds sound very similar to, uh, very much like the, uh, what's it called? Raptor sounds in, uh, Jurassic Park. It sounds like the raptor sound that they, they do in the third, ra uh, third Jurassic Park when they make the, like, Oh, sound chamber? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm not a paleontologist. And it, um... And it, uh, becomes, you know, and, like, he blows into it. He, like, 3D prints or whatever. He doesn't 3D print it, because, you no know, 3D printers weren't a thing then. Maybe it was, actually, I don't know. But, like, in a huge scale. Like a big scale. You know, I'm not sure, right? So, yeah. What was I saying? Well, I don't know 
or second goal. Yeah. So yeah. And then yeah. So. Yeah. I mean. Anyway, and you know, a bunch of random tapes. I have a bunch of random tapes too that my dad recorded. You know, off of the radio and stuff. And then of his class, because he was a teacher, and of like like things, talks, speeches. So I mean, lectures. I don't know things like that. I guess I don't know. I don't know exactly what all of them are. I've looked at them all, but yeah. So that's that. And then, so I might look at some of those one day, or transport some of those. I don't know. For my dad, maybe I don't know. Or for, I don't know, preservation somehow. Anyway, yeah, it's not a great player. It's got a little, like, a squeak to it and, like, I don't know, whine of some kind. What is that? Anyway, so, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. So that's about it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so... If you got books I should read, if you got movies I should watch, if you got TV shows, maybe. Well, I don't know. I don't really want to watch movies and TV shows, per se, but books. Books I really like. A good book, please. A good book series, a good, like, fantasy, like, nice book series to read, a good, you know? Or, like, whatever. Because I've been reading this weird, this series. I used to like these as a kid. Well, I had one as a kid. Um, it's called... This one's called Time Machine 1, but it is from the... Se no, which one? From the... Choose one, I guess it's Choose Your Own Adventure. From the publishers of the Choose Your Own Adventures. Right? Same kind of concept. Choose Your Own Adventure books. And I only had one. As a kid, it was Cave of Time. Ooh, let me look. Because I, I was, like, trying to look for that book. Although the physical book is so much better than... Having to, 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 to do the... Uh, not so physical book like the like you know an arc, like a pdf or whatever although maybe it's on archive.org i don't know archive.org is like amazing to find something you never thought you would find it and then bam archive.org has the one thing you can find usually usually sometimes if it's a lesser known thing sometimes it won't have it but most of the time they'll have it so it's like wow okay um, so let me just see you know i can go on forever but yeah, so, um, where is it now? No. Also, sometimes they'll just pull up everything with the with that name of the thing, sometimes, and you'll get, like, a thousand, uh, results. Like, or thousands of results, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. No, we're going to talk. Cave of Time, Cave of Time. See, you're getting this Cave of Time. Choose a venture book! Oh. Your search for the... What? Story? You're the star of the story. Ooh. It's not the cover I had, though. I know that. See, then you got the cave, and then the way they do it, like, everything was cave, everything was time, everything was... Yeah, if it's cave, it's with time. The clan of the cave bear. Journey to the bottomless pit. That has nothing to do with caves. Oh, it's cave in the subtitle. Okay. What's that? Oracle cave. The Oracle's cave. Is that a game? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um. It's also a game. No, it's a book. That's called Return to the Return to the Cave of Time. Like a sequel to the Cave of Time. I know what it looked like too. It wasn't. The one I'm seeing here, but anyway. I might be able to read it. So, anyway. And it was, like, kind of stupid expensive when I looked it up on... I think it was Amazon who found it? But something dumb, like... It was there 30 or $50? Yeah, there we go. That's the one I had. No. Yeah. 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 That's the one I had. Anyway. You can't see what I'm saying. I'm like, oh, this is the one I had. There you go. Now, like, as if you can see what I'm talking about, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that'll be it. I mean, well, what else am I going to talk about? Yeah, so that's a book. 
that's what I'm reading so far. I have two of those. I have that one, which is the first one, which is about knights. It's Secret of the Knights, and then there's number two, which is... Um... Dinosaurs? Time of the Dinosaurs, something like that? I'm going to check like the Time of the Dinosaurs, or... Oh, I can see it right here. Just give me, give me a sec. Search for dinosaurs. Second one's called Search for Dinosaurs. I don't have any others. And these are called... That's Time Machine 1 and Time Machine... That's a Time Machine. No. Yeah. That reminds me of something. I don't exactly remember what I was watching, but it was something somebody said somewhere. Because that's about dinosaurs. Isn't it, isn't it crazy how every kid at a certain point is infatuated by dinosaurs? Like, it's just full-on infatuated. Like, oh, so, like, engrossed in dinosaurs. I like dinosaurs. My brother liked dinosaurs. I knew people who loved dinosaurs. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. But, yeah. Yeah. So. But, yeah. I mean... What did that just do? Nothing? Okay, sorry. So, yeah. Every kid loves dinosaurs. I think, because everybody I ever knew, every kid, I mean, in this North American culture that we live in, loves, okay, dinosaurs, knights, pirates. Yeah. I think those are the three, because I was going to say ninjas and and or samurai but no not all the ones that I knew everybody I ever knew at a certain point was always into or maybe not everybody but actually now that I think about it but it's like the majority of kids love dinosaurs knights and pirates dinosaurs knights and pirates that's, that's like the big thing but anyway yeah so kids boys 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 specifically yeah, so. Found found the book I, uh, where do we... It was this one right here. Yeah, so, I mean, eh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just going into my freaking mind, but it's okay. But anyway, not freaking remember, like, you don't know what I'm saying. But anyway, yeah, so, um, I think it'll be it for now, guys. So, see you, Squadron, this whole time it's only downloaded, what, like, 4 gigs out of, oh, no, sorry, that's 4 megabytes per second. Whoa, 4.39 megabytes per second, about 3, 8, 3, 4, 3, whatever, megabytes per second, but, oh, So, yeah. Um, yeah, so. I don't know how much it's done, so, but it says there's 33 minutes left, so. 33, three, three more minutes, 30 more minutes left. So, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. I think that'll be for now, guys. So, um, if you want to get in touch with me, right? You know, ask me a question. There's always the, um, questions for the end of the, at, on, um, no, not the end. For the, uh, from, sorry, for, uh, oh gosh, Anchor has the, like, um, voicemail stuff, reviewer mail stuff, voicemail stuff, and then, Um, I 
and then there's the uh, email there's the um, discords that I have so yeah all links in the description those the emails in the, the discords but um, description of Anchor. I actually don't know if... I actually have no idea. I actually have absolutely no idea. I've never actually looked at this. Does... Ah, dang it, no! Don't open that. Just give me a second here. I'm just gonna look. Hello? Thank you. There we go. Open up. Um, I'm just gonna look up something like um, Apple, iTunes, for uh, podcasts, and see if... I can look for a podcast. Um, can I search for a podcast? Or maybe my podcast is still here. Somewhere. I had it here. At one point, maybe not. Um, um, okay, I gotta go to store. And I gotta look. See if that's actually around here somewhere. What? Podcast! Oh. Maybe? Yeah, here we go. What does E mean? What does E mean? Oh, I never look at what does E means. I don't actually look to see if anybody actually listens to my podcast on here. I have absolutely no idea. No! Oh, yeah, for podcast. Now, what does this, that mean? What does the E mean? I wonder what E means. I have 108 episodes. Oh, my word. Oh, there's still some there wrong. Yeah, it's okay. Not imposters. Ratings and reviews. Related. No? Nice. Anyway, yeah, so. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I can see a description. Like, if I go to an episode, right? There's no, like, description, is there? I don't really know. What do I have? Just, just that's it, okay? Copy link, tell a friend, get, share. There's not really, like, much. Anyway, I think that'll be it for now, guys. So, adios, mi amigos.